instrumentation a little bit, the switches in the center console here. Um, I'll take the keys out. But uh, we do have uh, some explanation here. But anyway, the uh, first switch there is for the headlights. And uh, it's actually a two position switch. I'll have to, I'll go through that specifically. Uh, the next one is the instrument dimper, dimmer for the instrumentation. Uh, fog, li fog lights right there. The, to turn on the, uh, there's an interior dome light in the car to turn that on. Windshield wipers, the electric fuel pump. And once again, I would just keep this one all the way out in the out position. That is required to start the car. It has two fuel pumps, an electrical and a mechanical. And then the defrost switch. And if there was a radio, it would be right in the center. But uh, you can listen to the sound of the Colombo V12, which is far better. And then also another interesting thing on this car, it does have an overdrive. So when you're in fourth gear, uh, it in essence has another gear, uh, which is handy on, on higher speeds in the freeway. And all you do is this little lever when you're in fourth gear, you do not have to do anything with the clutch, but you just push that lever forward, push it forward towards the dash, and it will engage the overdrive. Turn signals, of course, right here, uh, up and down, pretty, uh, pretty simplistic there. Um, this is the uh, heating and ventilation right here. And obviously the cigarette lighter, um, all your instrumentation here, oil temperature, uh, water temperature, fuel gauge, clock. Uh, this sets your clock, but you gotta be very careful with this. It goes up and down. You don't wanna just turn it left or right because you can really, you can break the uh, internal mechanism on the clock. Uh, speedometer, odometer, of course, uh, oil temperature, and tack. And we'll leave it at that.